Hello everyone, this is Eldon. Uh, just checking in with a, a uh, weekly update for May the 5th, uh, or no, May the 6th, that was Monday. Today's Tuesday. I think I'm going to start doing these updates on Tuesday because Monday is more of a um, more of a planning day for me and uh, adding this to the mix is a bit too much, I think. So uh, I'm going to aim for Tuesday. So uh, let's see, I didn't do a video last week. I'm sorry for that. I attempted to do one, but the sound was awful and I really didn't want to spend any more time on that because, um, yeah, got other stuff I need to do. <laughs> So I got that done, uh, or yeah, I, so I got the uh, uh, frame done and uh, uh, delivered to its new owner. Um, the painting, I'm going to throw in some uh, stills and maybe some video here. Uh, the painting is called Ollie Up uh, because the kid in the painting is named Ollie. And I just thought that was, it. some titles just make themselves, it was obvious. I was really touched by um, just how much the painting meant to his mom. Um, and I'm just really thrilled that the painting is going to such a good home. This is the first uh, original artwork that I've sold in many years, uh, getting back into this. Uh, I've sold cards and whatnot, but uh, yeah, it's always good when it's the original to see it go to a good home where I know it's going to be cherished. Um, and she was already talking about how one day she'll give it to her son. Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy. I spent a lot of time on the frame and uh, getting it just right. Uh, but I'm really happy that I did because I know it's going to become a cherished family heirloom. And that's just awesome. Um, as the creator, that's just awesome. You know, I've, I've said before that these uh, each of these paintings are like my own children. and at some point you just you let them go and you send them off into the world and um, it's good when you know they've got a good start so so that's the status on that i was really happy with that i'm uh, probably not going to do another video this week i'm trying to get one of my major paintings done and it's taking a lot of time uh, I wasn't even sure I was going to do an update this week as a result, but um, I'm continuing work on that. Uh, I've shown you photos of it before, and I'm kind of holding on. I don't want to show you. It's, it's right here, but I'm not going to show it to you until it's done because it's really looking awesome. Um, I was hoping I was going to get it done before Mother's Day, but I doubt that's going to happen. Um, Still trying to figure out scheduling of, of when to start paintings, and um, for there's a seasonal element to these uh, to these paintings, and it'll be ready for next Mother's Day, uh, which will be awesome. But I don't think it's going to be done for this one. But I'm going to push on because I want to get this one done. Um, I really am enjoying it, but I really need to uh, get on to other things. So um, pushing through with that really coming along. It's fascinating to me just how much color theory is involved in this one, just because there's so much going on. And I'm, it's a really a dance where you're trying to meld different uh, elements together. Uh, cer certain things you want to stand out, other things you want to fall back, and how do they complement one another, complementary colors. But um, that's been, that's been an interesting process. And, and I've been kind of surprised when things work, because uh, adding colors to other colors to get what you're looking for. Um, gosh, I know the color theory, but sometimes I don't believe it until I do it. And so this was one of those cases. So, um, yeah, I, I think you're really going to like it when it's done. And I, I'm looking forward to getting people's feedback. It's going to be cool. I, I really, this is one of my best ones yet. I, I'm, yeah. It's really cool when it's your best one yet. But anyways, so that's painting. That's, um, you know, this not going to be doing any other major video editing this week. Uh, wood shop is quiet while I get this done. Uh, next step is going to be getting ready in the wood shop for um, making a bunch of frames because I've got a bunch of paintings, but I can't show them 
because I don't have the frames yet. So there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, tooling for frame making, and then I'm also going to be doing some mat cutting, a lot of mat cutting. Um, but yeah, I think I might try and do some video of the framing, making the frames. Uh, I'm thinking people might find that interesting. Um, I haven't decided how I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do a start to finish or anything. I, it might be a vlog style. I'm still figuring that out. I mean, if, if you have a preference, let me know. But uh, yeah. So I think that wraps it up for this uh, week. Um, you know, I hope you find these videos interesting. Uh, I think they're helping me, if nothing else, because it really helps me to cement each week and really sit down and think about, well, where am I going to go this week? What am I doing long term? Uh, so, yeah, uh, I hope you like these videos. I, I, I hope you're not disappointed when you see these and not the painting ones. Um, if you want, if you have any uh, requests for paintings or if you really want to see a lot of shop stuff, let me know. Um, I'm trying to take you along with this journey that I'm going through. Um, and uh, yeah, if there's something you want to see, give a shout. We'll pull over to the side of the road and take a look. And take a look. So, so anyways, I hope you're all are having a good week and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching.